Hey gang, hey, hey gang, man. I need to, I need to work on that. <laughs> hey gang, happy Sunday. I hope you're having a nice relaxed Sunday. Um, that's about to change because I've got, oh, ignore my nails, they're awful. Um, I've got 11 nails to get through, I think, and um, no time to dilly dally about it in the process. Um, we are going to be using some accent nails. I'm using these god awful tips from Amazon that I hoped to use for press ons for people, but the shape of them, they're, they're just horrendous. They're bad from the side, they're bad from the front, um, but to save throwing them away. I'm going to use them for videos. Um, this video is for Amanda. She requested some accent nail ideas. She was sick of giving herself a, a glitter accent, so we're going to do some ideas for accent nails. Um, I will list all the products that I'm using down below. Here we have Neon Night Sakura Blush, French Lavender. F -f 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 what was that other one called? I don't remember. Lilac Lace. Fairy Frosting. No, it wasn't that. It was Lilac Frost. Yes. Anyway, um, so all of these can obviously be changed for whatever colours um, suit the set that you've got. And I thought I'd do some nice easy ones, um, especially if you're doing nail art on yourself. Nice and easy is the way to go. Um, I've cured that um, base colour and now I'm just doing some thin lines, letting my brush lift up as I get to the end of the line so it wisps out, um, curing each of the colours as I go. Um, so if you had a purple set, obviously like I've done here, just pick a few different purple colours for the lines. Uh, and if you were doing a blue set, then different tones of blue. And Voiceover pause for non-coronavirus related coughing fit. <laughs> And then I've saved the lilac frost until the end. Can you hear my dog groaning? Is it a hard life, baby boy? Yeah, but um, I saved the sparkly one to the end just so that that was on top. Um, it's got to have a bit of sparkle. Um, and then that will go in the lamp. Yep. Uh, and then I'm going to top it with diamond gloss. Of course, of course. All these colours are from Gel Perfection and the glitter I use at some point is um, also from diamondglitters.co.uk which is where you will find the Gel Perfection products. Uh, so that's that one, nice and easy. Uh, the next one is, if we get to it, is what? I'm using Electric Pink which is from the most recent summer collection and I'm going to be doing a glitter cuff. I'm going to make the shape of the cuff with the non-cuff colour it's the easiest way to do it um, and the brush kind of does all the work for you. I'm going to do two coats of that um, and then wipe it and buff it. Um, don't really need to buff it because it's just a, a nail pop but on a person um, I would always buff. A gel sticks better to a buffed surface or a tacky gel surface. So whenever you wipe a nail um, you know then it's neither of those. So I always buff before going on with the next step. Um, just so it adheres better and it's going to, you know, the manicure is going to last longer. Uh, I'm now filling in the cuff with platinum. Oh, I love this silver. It's amazing. Um, I'm going to give that a half cure. So I'm going to cure it for 30 seconds and then I'm going to pour over this silver holographic. Uh, it's a 008, so it's nice and fine and it's just delicious. Look at it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to pour that over the tacky half cured silver and then press it into it because obviously it's still a bit soft the silver so I'm going to press that into it make sure it's um, as flat as possible and then cure it and dust off any excess and then I'm going to top it with super gloss which is um, the thicker of the top coats it's like a rubber top um, also gel perfection I will list the nails individually and what products I use for each one in the description um, yeah I wanted to do sort of easy ones to do Obviously, so you can obviously, obviously, so you can do them on yourself. It's easier to not be too um, faffy with nail art on yourself. But because I've got loads of videos on my channels, on my channel, just the one um, of intricate or fiddly faffy designs. Um, so I thought, you know, a compilation of some nice easy ones um, was due. Um, and as I say, it was requested by Amanda. Um, for some accent nail ideas. So I'm using blackout here, I'm doing two coats um, and then I'm doing a coat of the first base and I'm not going to cure that because we're taking that mylar, the silver hollow mylar and we're just going to chuck it on there. You can spend time sort of 
moving them about so they sort of fit like puzzle pieces with perfectly even borders around them. Um, but you know, it's Sunday. I'm not faffing about with that. I'm lying though because I didn't film this today. Um, I filmed this the other day and I was going to post. I know it's been, I haven't posted since Monday, but I've been having a bit of a meh week and I don't want to give you a meh video. Um, I want it to be a fun video. Um, so that's why I'm doing the voiceover today. So I'm taking super gloss now. Again, the thicker top coat. That's going to seal all these bits in without um, leaving any lumps and bumps. Um, if you do have lumps and bumps, you can buff them um, and then re and top coat again. Um, but the super gloss left it nice and smooth. Uh, so it's a nice way to get some, you know, sparkle and uh, hollow without using glitter. This is powder pink. What are we doing with this one? I'm doing one coat of that, and then I'm going to take Dolly Daydream. Uh, Girl Talk and Alaska um, and the powder pink again and I'm going to do some dots all over the place um, and again if you're doing you know a pink uh, no this is pink come on Joe um, <laughs> red and yellow and pink if you're doing say a green version of this you choose a whole bunch of different greens um, to do this with my brain stop my brain stopped. My Weetabix haven't kicked in. I'm taking some a sandwich bag and just pressing down and lifting up and pressing down and lifting up um, to get this kind of like mashed marble. Um, and then that will go in the lamp. And I thought I would put some, this is pink frosting. Um, I thought I'd put that over it, but then I didn't like it. It kind of masked the, the marble. So I ummed and erred and thought I'll do some lines with the pink frosting. Or is this fairy frosting? No, it's pink frosting. Um, and then didn't like that either. I think I just thought this was enough by itself. So I just topped. <laughs> and it's done. And that was done. One down. Um, but I really like that. I like those colours together as well. But obviously, as I say, all, these, all of these, you can do different colours. Maybe that set would have a dark pink on the other eight nails, if you're doing an accent on each. Or something like that. And then you can just tie it all in by putting that colour in the accent as well. Uh, oh, so much talking. Um, this is butterscotch, and I'm just showing you a super easy leopard print, uh, which can go again any colours, and is so easy, it's so quick. Um, but once you've sort of finished, it looks a bit more detailed and intricate than it actually is. I start with the sort of C's facing each other, uneven. You don't want anything to be perfect or symmetrical or the same as the next one. Um, you want it to look sort of organic and then I do some circles and then some more C shapes and then some uneven sort of dot splodginess drunk baby drunk baby nail this is <laughs> um, and I'm topping that with make it matte just for a change um, and it's also good make it matte if there is any unevenness on the nail you don't see it when you've got the matte top coat on because there's no reflection showing you any lumps and bumps This is Waikiki Beach. This is a really gorgeous color. I'm going to do two coats of that. And then we're going to do a gel polish glitter fade. Um, it's, gel polish glitter fades are the easiest thing to do ever, um, in my opinion. <laughs> uh, I'm popping some of the peppermint candy at the back and then I'm gonna fade it down with just a detail brush and then gonna pop a bit more at the back. That's where we want it to be the most dense. And then fading it down again. And then the area that we have faded down, we fade down and then the next bit we fade down and so on and so forth. Um, and it will just by itself um, thin out. Uh, and because it's a sparkly polish, the, you know, you see what's happening. You can see it's just getting thinner as we fade it down and down. I think I faff about with this for longer than necessary, but you know, that's normal, ain't it, Norman? Um, 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 Someone said to me, I say, um, a lot too much the other day. And I said, um, shut up. I didn't really. Uh, uh, top coat with diamond gloss. My brain, my, my brain is not with the video right now. It's looking around me at what's going on and uh, I can't concentrate. Sorry. 
I'm back. I'm back. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Okay. So that was cured. And now we're doing Alaska and curing that. We're taking Raspberry Ruffle, which is a glitter from diamondglitters.co.uk. I'm going to do a coat of that. I'm not going to cure it. And we're now going to do an actual loose glitter fade, um, which again is, is easy. I find this, this cut of glitter works really well for a glitter fade as opposed to just a fine one. This is sort of what we call a multi-mix. And uh, so it's got fine and then medium sized pieces. It hasn't got any big pieces in. Uh, patting it on at the top and then just patting less and less down as you go, making sure it's not just a straight line. You want it to get, um, be more dispersed as we get further down the nail. Pressing it in with my finger just to make sure it's as flat as possible and curing and then topping that with diamond gloss. And then I think I give it a buff. Yes, I am. Just giving it a buff to make sure it's smooth. There's no pokey up bits. Um, and then we will dust that off and top with diamond gloss again. Nice and shiny. God, my nails ruined this video. I'm so sorry. It looks awful. Um, and that is that one. Again, if you had yellow nails, then do maybe a gold glitter over yellow or whatever. Let your imagination run wild. Um, I'm now using Blackout again. What am I doing here? Oh, yes. So I was looking for an interesting fingerprint. Didn't have any uh, until I found this little guy woo, who had swirly bits. All the others you can't see there, but were really boring fingerprints. Um, but this one had a nice swirly pattern. So I'm going to. All right. All right. We've seen enough of them. Oh, look, he's all happy because he got picked. Pick me, pick me. Why am I referring to it as a he? I don't know. Um, so I painted that phalange um, with Alaska and then I'm going to blot it twice. You can see this is attempt number two. I'm going to blot it twice on some paper to get most of it off and then just, I've kept this in real time so you can see the sort of pressure that I'm using. Just roll it on there um, and then pop that in the lab. I wasn't sure where I was going with this. Um, and I'm still not sold on this nail, but there you go. Um, this is some spider gel that I got from Amazon. I did do a video on spider gel. I'll put the link in that below um, in case you want to look at that, just to sort of uh, review and first look at some spider gels. Oh, and it did like a rainbow nail um, using neon pigments and spider gel. It's quite cool, actually. I'll put the link. I'll put the link. You can have a look. Uh, so I'm going around that. If you do this on a person, obviously, if you are going round and round their fingertip, make sure you wipe the underside. Um, of their nail before putting it in the lamp uh, and then curing that and then I'm using Alaska just to do some dots just I don't know I don't know what the look was here what is this look not a clue um, but it was quite cool I think was it I don't know let me know below what you think yay or nay uh, I then topped it and thought um, after I topped it I thought it would probably look better matte because the shine would wouldn't detract from stop tapping your fingers women and make a decision you know um the shine wouldn't detract from the detail of the fingerprint so i then went over it again in matte and i thought that looked quite cool um so that is that one blah 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 blah, blah. what are you looking at someone looking at my window as they walk past hello you know geez nosy uh, i'm now taking um bluebird and I'm cured that. I'm using Poolside, Bora Bora. How nice is Bora Bora? Splash Park, which is a gorgeous sparkly blue. And I'm, oh yeah, another one that didn't, uh, um, popping them sort of on top of each other or around each other. And then I'm going to use a cuticle stick just to spread this out. One thing I will note here is spread it out as thin as possible because you don't want it to be too thick as you put it on the nail. I used to do this technique a lot when I first started um, doing nails and I do it as a whole nail. And I don't know how I managed to do it without it being too thick and bubbling in the lamp because this is like attempt number three, I think, of this. Um, so I'm putting it on with a silicone tool and then, but you can see that bit there is far too thick. It's, it's not gonna cure properly, it's gonna bubble. Um, so I then went over it and you kind of end up losing some of the pattern when you do that. But, you know, 
I'd rather lose a bit of the pattern than it not be cured properly. So I'm just checking it has cured properly, which it is. It's definitely um, hard, umming and erring. I thought, just top it as it is. And then I thought, nope, do something else. <laughs> so I wiped that off um, and I took the Splash Park, which is the sparkly one. Um, and I'm going to outline the, um, what is that? The squiggly bit. Um, I like the I like this um, technique for a whole nail. I'm not a huge fan of this sort of just section of bit. I don't know why. I don't like sort of stuff that looks plonked. You know what I mean by that? <laughs> that just looks like plonked in the middle. I would, you know. So this is why I decided now to fade out the sparkle. It wasn't going too well uh, just by doing that. So I thought I'd add. Uh, I dipped my brush in some isopropyl alcohol, um, some, which is prep solution, cleanse, whatever you want to call it, um, and spread it out with that. I am taking the excess um, liquid off my brush before pressing it onto the nail. Um, so I dispersed that and I wanted to kind of blend it in. I didn't want it to look just this blue streak plonked on the nail. I wanted it to kind of, you know, you know, merge with the rest of the nail. Um, that's what I was going for. So I'm just dispersing that and then I went in um, after doing that uh, before curing and then the bit that's come from where we have um, dispersed it, I then dispersed that as well uh, just to again sort of try and avoid this blunt edge. So I'm just dispersing the dispersed uh, to try and make it a bit more, I don't know. I was not liking it that much, so I did a bit of faffing and then just put it in the lamp. Um, it's all right. Someone might really like it. It's just not me. I don't know. You know, some things you just sort of think, oh, I almost didn't make the cut. Um, but it has, because I thought, well, someone will like it. You know, they might. Do you like it? Let me know down below. Uh, and then I topped that with top coat with diamond gloss. And that was that one done. It's all right, you know, it's okay. Uh, now I'm taking Duchess and I'm doing a coat of that. I'm doing two coats of that. But look at the opacity. That's amazing. So, oh, I love these polishes. So I'm then going to take black out and just do some like dangly loops. And this is the same dangly loops. If somebody wants um, dangly loops, is that what they're called? No. If somebody wants dangly loops, they get the same thing from me. I could do different ones, you know, it's not rocket science, but I don't know, this is what they get. <laughs> so two kind of U's and then pulling, I think I do three lines down. You don't have to do it that big. I've taken up quite a lot of the nail with it, um, but normally I don't take up this much of the nail. Um, but just to show you, show you uh, what I'm doing, I thought it was easier to do it a bit bigger. Um, and then putting some dots at the end of there, making sure the dots get a little bit smaller as they go. Go. Uh, my voice is funny today. It's probably just getting funny now, dry, because I haven't stopped fucking talking. Um, I cured that before I'm doing these dots, because if you put small dots on top of wet polish, it's just going to bloop, you know, bloop, all go into one. So I cured that, and then the dots stay dots. Um, and dots kind of make everything look a bit more ornate. Um, and intricate so that's that and I think that does look nice as an accent nail on things it does kind of look a bit like like your nails have got a charm bracelet you know a nail bracelet um, so that's that one topped with shiny 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 uh, what's next oh okay pretending it's my finger all right <laughs> get on with it um, and I think this is the last one. This is birthday suit. And I'm going to do two coats of that. And then I'm going to cure that and do some lines with blackout. Um, I do have gel, like a black and white gel paint. But I'm just used to using gel polish for lines. And it seems to work perfectly fine. Especially because I've got frog in my throat. I don't need to burp and I really don't want to burp. Oh, but I have got a frog in the throat. Um, yeah, I'm used to using gel polish for lime work and these colours are so opaque that it works. It works fine for me. 
Um, so I'm doing kind of a V and then I'll do another V from a different angle and I'm going to cure that and then I'm going to mix um, it's gone what is it we're gonna to have to wait for it to come on screen i can't remember what i'm talking about luxury gold pigment yes i win <laughs> i beat myself um oh um luxury gold pigment oh for fuck's sake joe um and i'm mixing it with some of the first base and they don't sell this pigment anymore because it's not sourceable, but you can use, you know, use a really fine glitter or a chrome pigment or something would work as well. So I'm mixing that together and then I'm going to fill in just a couple of these. Um, this goes a bit out of shot, I'm afraid. Um, a couple of these sections, which I think because it's mixed with base coat, um, it sort of just wanted to shrink back on itself. So... I did one section and then flash cured it quickly just with this little UV light that's like three pounds from Amazon. Um, and then did the next one and then that was cured and obviously topped with um, shiny, shiny diamond gloss. You could, I suppose, top the nail in matte and then um, do the glitter or top the nail in, and then top that bit in shiny. You know, but I wanted to go all shiny because it was easy. <laughs> and that is that one. I hope you like these. Um, as I say, there's more fiddly, intricate, complex nail art um, on my channel. So I thought I'd do some nice, straightforward ones that are easy to do. And we'll go with anything, really. If you're having plain nails everywhere else, you could put any of these on um, and it wouldn't look um, out of place. Ignore that rainbow bit. I did something, wasn't happy with it. So no, just you can't pretend that's not there. Um, I hope you like them. If you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, you know, it takes one click. Just do it. Go on, do it. Do it. Um, and subscribe to my channel for lots more videos. Uh, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite. Um, if there's an accent now that you always have as a go-to, what is it? I want to know this stuff. Uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe for lots more. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook, Miss Joe's Nail Co. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.